Negroes out here selling drugs, putting this, just putting, putting this sister right here, her children, all these people in danger. The Lord going to judge you. I'm just going to tell you that right now because a whole bunch of drug dealing, prostitution, gang banging going on out here, and God going to judge you. Best believe that. So don't think you got away with nothing or you get away with nothing because you love that money. Give me that verse, uh, Timothy 6, real quick. I got to blast these dudes. Bring it on. Out here selling drugs in front of the prophets and think we ain't going to say nothing about it. And go run and tell whoever you going to run and tell to. All you drug dealers in the community, your days are numbered. Right. You better stop selling drugs in the community and destroying our people. Bring Read that for me. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10. Bring it for on. the love of money is the root of because you love your money. The love of money is the root of all evil. God gonna judge every last one of you drug dealers with death or imprisonment. Right. Right. You're gonna be in the jailhouse or dead for selling drugs to God's people. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Hey. The love of the money is the root of what? For the love of money is the root of all evil. God said the love of money is the root of all evil. That's where your wicked heart come from. Selling dope. Right. Selling drugs. Selling coke. Selling weed. God going to judge you. Come on. For the love of money is the root of all evil, Red. which while some coveted after, Red. they have earned from the faith Red. and pierced themselves through with many sorrow. Go up, go up town right now. Go up the street right now. And look at all the people that's out here laid out, bugged out their mind on drugs. Right. That's because of y'all. Y'all selling the dope to these people in the community. Yes, right. And don't give me that, oh, well, if we don't sell it, somebody going to sell it. You should be the one that's going against the people that sell it. Right. Right. You should be standing up with us to take our community back. Right. But you love money. You love that dollar bill. And you love that dollar bill more than you love your own flesh and blood. Right. Your brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel. Right. God's chosen people. Got them out here strung out, falling out. Women up here pregnant. Y'all selling drugs to pregnant women. Right. Yeah, we're going to call you out on it. We don't give a damn. You're going to end up dead or you're going to end up in jail? Yes, right. Or you're going to end up with another Negro that wants your money. He see you trapping, doing good. He going to knock your ass off. Right. Right. You know? This ain't no game. There ain't no, ain't no retirement plan from the drunk game. Right. You better stop selling it right now. Right. Read it again. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Go ahead. While some have coveted after, they have earned from the faith. You are earned from the faith. Most of you probably grew up in church. Imagine that. You know you didn't learn that in the church to sell dope. Come on. They have earned from the faith right. and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. That's why you got many sorrows. You ever wonder why you keep got to chase the money? When is it going to be enough? All that money you done made all dope, but you ain't changed nothing in the community. You ain't invested in no houses. Right, right. You ain't invested into no uh, uh, plans for the brothers and sisters that's coming out of prison. Right. You ain't did nothing with that money. All you do is just put that money in your pocket and go buy cars, chains, and stunt on your own people. Right. Ah. So you're killing your people, then you come back and stunt on the people that you're killing. Right. Right. Twice dead. Now give me one more scripture. Uh, the book of Genesis chapter 9, verse 6. Bring it up. Let me tell you what's going to happen to you drug dealers that are selling dope and killing God's people in the community. Bring it up. I'm going to show you what God said going to happen to every last one of you drug dealers out here in Raleigh, North Carolina, that are selling dope and killing your own people. God got a judgment for you. Read that for me. The book of Genesis chapter 9 and verse 6. Who so shed a man's blood. When you sell dope to somebody, you shed their blood. Right. You are shedding their blood. The Bible said, who so what? Who so sheddeth man's blood? Right. By man shall his blood be shed. God gonna bring judgment. Right. Right. Because the dope that you out here selling is causing people to try to kill one another for the dope, kill one another for the money. Right. A lot of the dope that y'all selling got people impaired and they going and they killing other people. Right. So guess what? You are part of that blood. Right. And the Bible says, if you shed a man's blood, by man shall your blood be shed. Right. That's why every time somebody kills somebody, what happened? It come right back around. Somebody killed him. Then the kinfolk killed him. Then they killed somebody from your hood. Right. And then somebody from their hood killed somebody from yours. And it's just a revolving effect. Y'all keeping that going by selling dope to people in the community. Right. And we tired of it. Right. Stop selling dope to the people in our community. Hey, Killing hey. our brothers and sisters. Right. Wake up and repent and keep the commandments of God as an Israelite. That's right. Because if you don't stop doing it, God going to send somebody through here to spray you up. Right. 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 God going to put the evil spirit on somebody to come through here and kill you for selling dope to his people. Think it's a game. We ain't playing. Right.
We ain't come out here to play. We come out here to tell you what the Bible say. Right. And a lot of you brothers and sisters in the hood with that no snitching, give me that Leviticus 5 and 1 real quick. Some of y'all are scared to tell on these brothers. Wake them up! Some of y'all are scared to tell who's selling the dope in your community. Right. But you're supposed to tell. Right. Every time somebody sells dope in your community, that's another chance that one of these young kids gonna get hit by a car because they walking across the street and one of these niggas out here high as hell. Right. Y'all don't think like that. Well, I'ma just go in my apartment. I ain't gonna say nothing to nobody. I'ma make when my kids gonna be in here when the street light come on, and I'ma just stay to myself. No, 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 no. It's only a matter of time for it to touch your household because you ain't saying nothing about it. What? Hey. Leviticus 5 and 1. I'm sorry, go ahead. The book of Leviticus, chapter 5 and verse 1. Go ahead. Oh. If a soul sin Read. and hear the voice of swearing go ahead. and is a witness. You witnessing dope dealing going down in your own community. The Bible says if a soul sin and you see the sin, read. Whether he have seen or known of it, read. if he do not utter it. God said if you don't tell who's selling the dope, read. Then he shall bear his iniquity. So when the drug dealer get hit, you going to get hit. Right. Right. When the Lord sent judgment through this, what street we on? What's the name of this street? Seven. Pool Road and Sunbury Street. When God brings judgment to Pool Road and Sunbury Street, because you didn't say nothing, because you condoned the wickedness, God said, you're going to bear that iniquity too. Right. Right. It's just like you selling the dope. When you watch somebody sell dope in your community and you don't say nothing about it, it's just like you selling the dope. Right. When you watch somebody kill somebody in the community and you don't say nothing about it, it's just like you kill them. Right. Right. That's how God works. Right. So you brothers right. better wake up and repent and keep the commandments of God. Because we ain't playing. Give me Romans 6 and 23. I'm sorry. I know I said I won't stop. I got to get one more. Because they, they think this is a game. This ain't no game out here. Right. Y'all think it's a game. Spiritually, you got angels watching everything that you do. Right. Bring it on. Every last one of y'all that's out here selling dope and killing your own brother and sister in the community, there's an angel watching you that's reporting that back to God. Right. And it's only a matter of time before God decides to press the button on you. Read. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. Come on. For on. the wages of sin is death. God said when you sin, that equal death. Oh, my baby. Oh, my little cub. John John, man, let's knock John John off. Why this happened, Lord? Jesus, why? He tell you right here in the Bible. Right. It's because you in sin. Y'all don't fear sin because you grew up in the Christian church where they taught you a white Jesus. Right. right. Look at the people walking to the trap house, walking to the dope house, right. walking to the prostitution house. We see you, and we're going to call you out, too. You know. And we hope, we hope to the Lord that if you don't repent, he brings judgment on your evil ass. Right. 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 Read it again. For the wages of sin is Death. So you're going to get paid back. That's what a wage is. It's your payment for what you've done. When you go to work, you work 30, 40 hours so you can get wages, a payment. Well, guess what? When you work sin, God going to pay you for that sin. Hey, that's right. Y'all don't know God control your heart? Right. You don't know God control your lungs? Right. You don't know God control your brain, your breathing? You don't know God can have you choke on a chicken wing and die? Right. Right. The Lord can do whatever he want, whenever he want, and you're going to sell dope to his own people and think that he ain't going to bring judgment. He can bring judgment at any time. Y'all don't fear God because you have been taught a white Jesus in your church. Right. You don't know God real, but God is real. Right. And he's going to bring judgment. Right. All right? Nation is men leading by example. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord!